decided to do a little recap of our Vegas trip for um, Denzel's 32nd birthday. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so here he is right now opening the door to his uh, birthday suite. We stayed in the Venetian, um, in the actual Venetian tower. So first of all, I had to work my magic to get this suite. A little bit of smooth talking, a little bit of skills that all worked out in the end. So that was like perfect for us. And then the video got kind of blurry, but it was a huge suite. It had a dining room table, it had a wet bar. It had a secluded bedroom, which was like really dope. Um, this huge little the pavilion. Outside. Yeah, it was, it was kind of crazy, but it was kind of awkward trying to get in there and like record everything because we couldn't figure out how to work the lights because it had 37 different light switches so that was kind of crazy for us but yeah all in all it was a very very nice suite um, definitely more than we expected um had a great time in there it was it was like it was super nice um definitely if you plan on having like more than two people this is definitely the suite to go to all rooms at the venetian are suites so that's definitely our highlight and probably going to be our favorite hotel to go to in vegas um the way that we did it we actually booked and the price was a little bit higher when we had booked it at first and then we ended up going back and rebooking it for like a way cheaper price it knocked off like i think about a grand yeah it is so definitely set alerts for um, price changes um it that definitely came in handy um, it's crazy how the closer we got to the date the lower the price was getting which um in most cases you expect the opposite yeah as you can see i had a problem with trying to figure out how to open the door <laughs> Because I come from a poor home, and these <laughs> things are a little bit, a little bit out of the norm for me. And then you see like the huge bedroom that we had, um, the living space. I want to say it was, it was three TVs. Yeah, three TVs. Yeah, that right there is our yeah. um, room service that we ordered, which was delicious. It was a little pricey, but I mean, it was really, really good definitely do the room service okay so here we are in dre's um i think this was one of my favorite parts of the trip because uh, we got a section in dre's and it wasn't like super crowded it was the after hours club with the hookah lounge and um yeah it was like it was really fun when it comes to like bottle service and just like actually overall customer service like dre's was pretty dope to to actually like go and experience get a nice size bottle and then there's a neva like oh dancing gosh, doing her thing stop. you didn't have to call no attention i right? mean at this point like <laughs> just keep talking about you and your bottles and stuff so yeah um <clears throat> bottle girl was really nice um the bottle was a, a good size compared to other clothes which we'll get to um that later i think the bottle of Ciroc was how much 600 yeah. i think it was 600 um, no, the bottle wasn't six hundred. How much was it? It was a, uh, it was a lot cheaper than that. So the flower drink at the Cosmopolitan, like you definitely got to do the flower drink at the Cosmopolitan. Just go there and ask for the flower drink at the Chandelier Bar. Yeah. Yeah, that was it's definitely an experience. Um, so yeah, do that. And then moving right along, we we're at Tiles. Uh, for a little my, birthday celebration dinner. My birthday um, sherbet. Yeah, they gave him a free sherbet. The ambiance is really nice in the restaurant. Um, it, we got same day reservations, or our friends got same day reservations for us. Um, so yeah, it was actually pretty good. The food was good. We weren't that hungry, so we didn't order a huge entree, but I would say the food was, it was decent. The sushi, the one we chose wasn't our cup of tea, but it was good. And then we did the whole pool party, tour bus, party bus, whatever you want to call it. That was probably my funnest part of the whole Vegas trip because it was after you buy the tickets, it was all you can drink on the bus. And then you go to three different pools mm -hmm. and you just basically just go dance, experience, drink, whatever you want to do. You don't have to wait in line. Um, you can you go yeah. in a, a shorter line. 
Um, yeah, the tour guide will take you in. You I do. S- I say that's like a key part of Vegas. Anytime that you can do anything where you can skip the lines, yeah, do it. Definitely. Do it. Don't stand in lines in Vegas. It's it's trash to stand in lines in Vegas. And then this is us on the bus. One of us <laughs> is having way more to drink than the other. I'll let y'all figure out who it was. <laughs> this was the second stop. I'll have to look and see if I can figure out the name of it. I know the first place we went to was Mandalay Bay. Um, this one actually was like the best pool. Yeah, I would say it wasn't overcrowded. Like we had space in the pool. Um, it was actually really fun there. Until we got to get out because somebody was throwing up in the pool, so that was kind of trash. <laughs> Luckily, I missed that. Gordon um, Ramsay's oh, yeah, Hell's, Hell's Kitchen. Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen. Of course, we had to try to go to Hell's Kitchen. It was awesome. Food was good. Um, I had a great time there. This was his. Oh, I'm pointing at you, but yeah, this is where he wants to go to highlight his birthday celebration. Yeah, I had to do Hell's Kitchen. Um, I was kind of sad that no one was in there filming. <laughs> I didn't know. No one told me, but I figured it out when I got told there. him that was a salmon. It was delicious. All right, this is brunch. It was an R&B lunch. Yeah, brunch. R&B brunch. Yeah. Um. It. Was, we thought it was a little sketchy at first because it's like out on the outskirts of Vegas, um, but it was it turned out good. It turned out good. And definitely do the bottomless mimosas. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. Um, here we are at the Bellagio. Bellagio. I'm going through the conservatory. Yeah. Actually, a really nice thing. I was told that they changed the theme maybe every quarter or. However often, but it was really nice. It was kind of an African theme this time, so you'll see some other animals and like beautiful flowers. It was it was really nice. And just go, just just like all the all the plants and the ambiance of everything. <laughs> I really enjoyed it, especially like when little kids was just bumping into me, just taking pictures <laughs> and stuff. It was it was a, a nice experience for me, I would say. The Bellagio is definitely like a different feel, though. It's it's yeah. more of like a a more I would say high class feel. Yeah, I especially guess. with the restaurants in the Bellagio. Yeah, but we did meet some nice people there. Um, some of the uh, sir, one he was a server. I don't know what it was. It's some of the concierge yeah, team. Yeah, concierge. Yeah. Um, actually like hooked us up with like some free drinks and free food vouchers. So that was pretty dope. Um, and I guess, I don't know, Vegas is just kind of just about getting out of your comfort zone and then talking to, to other people. Yeah. yeah, definitely making friends. And then you see Neva didn't know that I was actually taking yeah, a video and set up a picture. a picture of me. And of course, classic prank. Classic execution. I would say ten on the execution. You can see the disappointment in her face when she figured it out. Um, but I mean, overall, the conservatory was just like amazing because it's, it's just free. open. Yeah, so you can just walk right in there. We love free, and free is like free is key yeah. in Vegas because you pay so much money for like so many other things. Whenever you can just do free, I would say that's like that's something that you need to hone in on. Mm-hmm. Which we didn't have any clips of Tao, um, the nightclub portion. But when we stayed in the Venetia, you do get in free. Um, so all you have to do is put your name on a guest list and you can get in there for free. If you like air cannons. Granted. If you like air cannons, Tao is the place for you. Yeah, Tao was not the best. Um, oh, this is Fremont Street? Yeah, Fremont. Yeah, so on our last night, we figured out about Fremont Street. Old Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> Which... It was a live DJ, like, on Fremont Street, which was, like, really good, really dope. And then it's, like, a DJ that it seemed like it was on both ends of Fremont Street. So, that was definitely, like, a plus. So, I would say, overall, like, our Vegas experience was was pretty dope. Yeah, our Vegas experience was really, really good. Um, And other... Was that all we did? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Yeah, because we we didn't like Tao. We did the strip club, too. Oh, we did. We didn't even talk about it. Strip club was black. Yeah, we went to um, the girl collection. Girl collection. It definitely (laughs) was not that good. It wasn't that good to us because 
yeah like i'm not even a strip club person but when i the vibe just was not it wasn't there um in the way that it's set up and also the freaking price of their alcohol compared to what we spent at Dre's and what they had their stuff priced at and the bottles were much smaller than what we got at Dre's yeah it definitely was not it wasn't hidden um but yeah so all in all we had a great time in vegas and hopefully you guys will check back with us we do have some more trips coming up so we'll be posting those soon bye